the deep freeze that has left people in North America shivering for days, shattering century-old temperature records, is loosening its icy grip. The mercury is rising in the U.S. Midwest and East, which has borne the brunt of the so-called polar vortex, but was still below freezing in many areas. At least 21 people have died since Sunday as a result of the weather and more than 11,000 flights were grounded. U.S. natural gas usage hit an all-time record in the U.S. to meet heat demands. Forecasters predicted weather would return to normal across much of the U.S. in the coming days, after 50 U.S. cities set new record low temperatures. On Tuesday, the U.S. Midwest, which experienced 37 C, 35 F, in recent days, also warmed slightly but still faced temperatures 15 to 25 degrees below average. Atlanta, Georgia, returned to a more temperate 5 C, 42 F, on Wednesday following a record low of 14 C, 6 F, a day earlier. New York City is expected to top 1 C, 31 F, on Thursday, after shattering a 118-year-old low temperature record with 15 C, 4 F. On Tuesday, temperatures in parts of North America plunged so low this week that they eclipsed readings recently recorded on the Red Planet by the Mars rover. Even Alabama's top official was not immune to the extreme cold. Governor Robert Bentley faced an estimated $50,000 £30,397 in damage after a water pipe froze and burst in the attic of his home in Tuscaloosa, in Canada. Meanwhile, a 70-year-old Ontario man is recovering in hospital after being buried in a snowdrift in his vehicle for nearly 24 hours, reports CBC. Scientists also posited a silver lining to the cold snap, saying it could kill some of the pests that have ravaged northern forests.